another gasket ready. All right, try it every which way until I find the right one. So now we're going to put our uh, accelerator pump together and uh, so here's our new pump and it has a leather cup on it put our spring on there and uh, our little washer goes over it That little arm that goes on top of it, hold it all together so it doesn't uh, blow away. Then we got our little clip, and uh, there's uh, three positions: a top, middle, and, and a lower one. Uh, you should make note of which position it's in um, when you take it apart. That if you forget, just stick it in the stick and use the middle one. And that's it for accelerator pump. Of course, we'll take this off. Uh, excuse me, this isn't uh, leather. Um, it's rubber. And uh, the blue color here indicates, at least for the U.S. made type of uh, plunger, is uh, ethanol resistant. Carefully put it in there. You see it's working already. It's, that's one way I test it. You put some fluid in there and pump it and you see it coming out through the hole here. Okay. Um, let's see. Alright, I'm missing one of my parts. Alright, so here's our idle jet. Goes in here. Vent well. Okay. And uh, we'll put this plug in later, but that pretty much does it for the bowl for now. We'll work on the top. And the uh, first thing we're going to do is uh, put in the seat. I have a little tool for doing that. And uh, of course, you probably won't have one. Just make sure your screwdriver is wide enough to uh, reach across that uh, brass seat. You don't want to chip it any. Okay. Make sure we don't have any particles left in there to keep that needle from dropping down. Um, let's see. We have a vacuum piston assembly. 
all clean, nice and loose. Put our gasket on it. Goes right here. And let's see, I'm going to need a socket for that. It looks like a 7 sixteenths. It's going to land right down here in our power piston. Okay, 